What's going on, everybody? It's Jordan from the future. As you can see, I forgot to film an intro for uh, these little segments that I filmed at Moore Park College, America's Teaching Zoo. Um, well, stay tuned for this next clip, and I uh, hang out with a student and one of the animals that she works with, and I'm pretty excited, so uh, let's get it going. Hey, how's it going? Hi. So, nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Anna. Anna, nice to meet you. So, where are we right now? So, we're at America's Teaching Zoo, and we are at the Exploration Station. Exploration Station. So, we're going to be seeing something today. Yes. We're going to be exploring something or yes. someone. Someone, someone <laughs> really special, dear to my heart. Um, his name is Forrest. Forrest. And he is our North American porcupine. Awesome. Okay, I can't wait to see him. Let's see him. Is he in here? Yes. So well, I'll, I'll help you over. here. I'm going to bring him over and turn him around. And we're going to let him out. Look at this guy. All right. I'm going to put that back. What a Forest. Boy. Target. Cool. Oh, wow. He is big. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's 20 pounds. 20 and pounds. he is a male, like his name suggests. His name is Forrest. He is 11 years old, and we got him from Animal Kingdom. Awesome. So he is, he's a big boy. I, I've worked with um, a few females, uh, one male, but he got nowhere as big as Forrest here. Um, he's smaller. I don't know why he's so small. And he's also a more goldeny color than yeah. the ones I've worked with. So is that a normal coloration change? I would say that is a normal coloration change, and that is because of these specialized hairs that he has along mm -hmm. his body. Um, he also has what he's known for, his quills, which you can see right over here if I lift it up. One of my favorite things about them, um, there's, there's always a huge misconception about, about porcupines and their quills, and that they have the ability to shoot quills. Yeah. Can you talk about that? So they don't shoot out how we're all conditioned to think. Um, they actually will stick to you. So if he were to um, attack you or back into you, back into you, mm -hmm. the quills would um, get attached to your skin. So they have barbs at the end mm -hmm. and they go inside your skin. It's really hard to take off. But with him, they're really, they're attached to him that they're really loose so mm -hmm. that when he will like this with his tail it'll be really easy for them to just fling detach. off yeah i see so that's how every like every cartoon and every old movie used to tell us like hey they're flying all over the place so that doesn't yeah. happen right i love how he uses his hands to eat yeah <laughs> let me turn it around for you guys to see because it's really cute no i love how he holds his little treat so what is he what is he getting right now what is he eating so he's getting corn that's his favorite treat and he's also getting Hi, rat chow which is one of his favorite treats also rodent chow, little rodent biscuits of course i have nothing for you dude target target over here <laughs> so he seems very chill around around people around around new people which is nice so do you do a lot of uh, desensitization and training with him? Yes, that's what I was going to say. When, I'm really glad you brought it up. So right here, working with him, this is good for him because it gets him used to people. Mm -hmm. It gets him used to being in this type of setting. And it's good for him because he's a really good animal ambassador, right? Mm -hmm. So we want him to be able to come out and do a good representation of his species. We want people to be interested in him and want to take care of him. So. Him being calm and collected, relaxed, that's good. So the, we just had a, I don't know if you can see the background of the, the, the trees moving and the, the, the wind and everything going on right now. That wind gust just came in and I got a very, very uh, strong whiff. <laughs> whiff of something. Very so powerful. That's not me, that's him. <laughs> Are you sure? You good today? Yeah, that's him. And. It's he a hot really, day today, though, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, he really makes everyone doubt uh, if you put deodorant on or not. Um, but yeah, that's one of his defense mechanisms. So if a predator were to come near him and get a whiff of that, they wouldn't want to eat him, right? So if you were to smell a nasty hamburger, would you want to eat that? No. Maybe. Right? 
Maybe not. Really? Okay. <laughs> nah. The other thing that I was going to say is it also is a really good uh, way of him marking his territory. Yeah. So that lets everyone know that this is his. Whatever he marks, that's his possession. So I see he's really, he really hangs with you a lot. So what is your connection with him like? So I work with him every single day and I try to get him used to commands like this, like rise up, there you Very go, good. and he'll do it. I'll give him his favorite treat. I thought he was going to give you two thumbs up too. Was, well, he actually was... has a really cool behavior <laughs> that is called punch it. So he'll punch. punch. It. Yeah, so I can try to show you guys that. Horse, punch it, punch it. There you go. <laughs> Oh, they um, but just working with him every single day gets him to trust me a little bit more. So every time that he has a good um, session with me, it is a little deposit on the trust bank, right? Mm -hmm. Trust bank account. Um, so I try to have a lot of positive encounters with him so that he tr trusts me more every single day. And that way he enjoys coming out. So this is America's Teaching Zoo, correct? So you are indeed a student. So you are learning with Forrest. Did you, did you start off with Forrest? No, so this is my second semester in the program. And I asked for him specifically because I wanted to know uh, what it was like to work with him. Yeah. So I actually am on another porcupine, an Indian crested porcupine. I'm nice. the walker for nice. him. And his name is Rupee, but he's very different from Forrest. So I wanted to see what the differences were. I've actually worked with um, Indian crested porcupines as well, as well as African crested yeah. porcupines and North American porcupines. <laughs> you know, I can tell you the Indian crested and the African crested are practically the same, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're such it's a complete difference with with these guys and them. Yeah. Um, I can tell you that I will say that one thing they share is that they are fine with being all up in your face. They like being yeah. in your space and on top of you. They don't they don't really have. Um, they don't really get personal space. Yeah. <laughs> that's, they actually, don't. I, that's why I well, like them though. They have nothing to fear, right? right. They got great, <laughs> no, <love> great <laughs> protection right in the back. Do you want to <laughs> give him something? Sure. Yeah. He like does that little stop and like yes, processes. Yes, process. No, I don't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here. He's like, hey. Oh, not my hand. Not my no, hand. No, he won't do that. No, anything. I know. I'm just He's kidding. really good. I'm just kidding. No. He's really gentle. Just for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I wasn't scared. No, he's no. I'm very used to these guys. The, but I will tell you though, they are rodents, right? And those teeth, those teeth are uh, they can be ever intimidating. Growing. They're ever growing, yeah. and um, they have that enamel cover or that uh, that yeah that orange covering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, he will chew on a lot of bark, and it, actually in his enclosure he has uh, pine trees oh, that lovely. he can chew on on a daily basis. So that will wear off his teeth. Awesome. And we also give him a lot of root veg, so that helps a lot too. Yeah, we uh, I know that uh, as zookeepers we use a lot of um, nicknames and like we shorten up a lot of words to make things easier. I guess <laughs> we have our own little we lingo. We have our own little lingo, so 100%. <laughs> But yeah, he'll get yams, he'll get um, carrots, he'll get broccoli, corn, his favorite, and then spinach and kale. Awesome. He, he gets eats a very wide healthy. variety. He eats way healthier than I do. Well, Anna, we have to go into some other animals. Thank you for showing me for us and taking your time to hang out with us. And uh, I hope you uh, graduate soon. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you for watching that clip with the student and the animal. If you have any questions about this specific animal that you saw today, leave it down below in the comments section. And if you would like to see another animal at another zoo, let me know what zoo it is. Let me know what animal you want to see. Till next time, I'm your boy, Jungle Jordan. I'm out.